again everyone Charlie here um, today we're going to go here and we have a Caribbean red chili which when you google it turns out to be nothing more than a scotch bonnet so I got another one red one back there so I'm going to choose the bigger of the two, which I don't know which one it is. I think it's that one. So, I'm going to set this down. And I'm going to get the chili. There it is. I'm going to wash it off. Smells, smells good. Um, timer's getting set. Timer's ready. I'm gonna cut the stem off as usual. It smells hot. It's amazing the distinctiveness of the taste. And uh, here we go in uh, three, two, one, go. Almost a fruity sweetness flavor. Thirty seconds, and here we go. Uh, nothing to brag about yet. Good taste of good tasty pepper free flavor. Some nice heat to it, but nothing crazy. So, I'd say it's a medium, medium skinned. Nice texture to it, nice crunch. No sweat and no nasal activity, so good tasty pepper. I believe they use this pepper in a lot of the jerk spices that you get <clears throat> from the Caribbean. He's starting to build a little bit, you know, it's nothing, uh, nothing major. Good and tasty. You know, you can really taste the pepper, which that's what I enjoy. I like, you know, I really don't like the, the heat that is so hot that you can't taste the pepper. But, you know, we'll get into that when I get the ghost peppers and the scorpions when they become ready. But this pepper, you can taste the pepper. The heat don't overpower it again. It's, um... It's tasty. If you like hot stuff, you want a quick snack or something, something to burn your mouth up real fast, it's tasty. I don't know, I'm, some people call me crazy, but you know, I kind of like the burn in the mouth. I refer to that uh, almost like getting a tattoo. Anything to release the endorphins. It's, <laughs> yeah, crazy. Place, porcelain tiles with a surprise. I really like the 
Yeah, nothing major, so I don't know. I would recommend this pepper. <clears throat> Not too hot. Full of flavor. Now that I know it's uh, one of the key key spices in the jerk sauce, I probably end up making uh, drying some out and making it into a, a jerk spice, anyways. Might even might even take some of these peppers and dip them in chocolate. Which I've done before with regular habaneros and that's pretty tasty. Alright, we're closing in on the last ten seconds. Um again, nothing major on this pepper. Uh very good though. So and there we are, 5 minutes, 30 seconds, so it's Charlie tuning out, um, thanks for tuning in, um, hope you enjoyed watching this review of this pepper, um, until next time, Charlie, see you next pepper, thanks.